Potter Science Singles and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing a weekly love reading for those of you who are not waiting for anybody, not in separation from anybody, but just single and ready for love. So this will be for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do encourage you though, however, if you are in separation or recently um, getting out of a relationship to check out uh, both readings as you may have messages in both. Um, but my intention for this reading is for those of you who are just super single and ready to get back out there in love. So let's see what, oops, I'm going to tip you guys down here so you can see your cards come out. Let's see what you guys have coming in love. All right. So you have the two and three of pentacles in your energy. So really, um, really trying to release anything that um, made you feel like an option instead of a priority, um, going with the flow, going with change, allowing change to happen in your life, knowing that uh, love will find you when it's meant to be, um, but really just focusing on work. Um, you see in this deck, the three of pentacles is working by themselves. This is like you know, doing the, doing the internal work, doing, you know, like up to this point, you have been working on yourself in order to prepare for, you know, the opportunity for love to come in. Um, really just trying to work hard and getting your finances in order, as well as, um, healing possibly from somebody in your past that, um, made you an option. Oh dear. The four of pentacles is what is coming in for you. So could most definitely be an earth sign, but um, somebody is going to come into your life, um, but they're going to be very stingy, very greedy with their time, um, not really wanting to uh, fully invest in a connection is what I'm seeing. We'll clarify that in a second. What? What do they need to know about this person or this connection? What do our water signs need to know about this connection? Wow. The person that's coming in for you, water sign singles, is heavenly sent. Wow, that's some strong energy. You, you're could very well possibly um, be coming back into connection with a soulmate, with a divine partner, because this person, the universe is putting them back in your path because the first time around, they weren't wanting to invest. They were stingy. You did all the work. You were being juggled. You felt like you were not their priority. Um, they've been working on themselves and they are coming back because there is some truth here that is going to be um, brought forward. The truth is this is a divine partner. But when they come back or when they come into your life, some of you haven't even met this person yet in this lifetime. When they come back, they're not going to be ready to fully invest in a connection. Um, and that's important for you to know because you've been working very hard with spirit, with source, with the universe to build something of value to um and you're just really going with the flow letting things come in letting things go however that fits but the person coming in for you may not be fully able to invest in a connection just yet but they want you to know this is a divine partner that's coming in for you what you need to do to be ready for this connection water sign singles What do you need to know? Or what do you need to do to be ready? Wow. I'm hearing, well, most definitely this can be a Taurus coming in for you. Um, but this is connecting with source, connecting with the universe, um, finding your more spiritual side, 
Some of you could need um, counseling due to a past relationship um, to be ready for this relationship to come in because uh, you could have some past hurts or past life hurts um, that need to be resolved. But the outcome of this, holy cow, is the universe bringing in for you your wishes, your hopes. You know, wish upon a star and make it a good one because they're coming true for you. This is also healing. So the outcome of this connection, um, especially those of you who need to see like a therapist or a counselor, there's no shame in that. I am a therapist um, for my day job. So uh, I, I love therapists. <laughs> but um, you could have to seek spiritual counseling or, or like, uh, you know, regular counseling. But the outcome of this is healing. And when you're healed, this will come back in for you. This is such a divine connection. Wow. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. Putting in the work, being patient, and finding or and waiting for your harvest. Your harvest is about here. So let's get some more clarity. Oops. Well, you are at a distance from this person. Obviously, this is for singles. Um, you could have been waiting for this person for quite some time, possibly your whole lifetime. For some of you, I'm seeing you don't even know this person yet. But they are coming in for you in the next four days or four weeks. Um, or as little as two days, two weeks. But for those of you who have met this person in this lifetime, you are currently at a physical distance from them. Um, but you are manifesting this by putting the work in, by um, being patient, by really planting those seeds of intention, you are going to manifest these blessings into your life. You're working really hard, water signs, on yourself, on healing, and it shows. <clears throat> Be four of Pentacles person. They're going through a major shakeup in their life right now. They're transforming. The reason why they have this guard up, the reason why they have the wall up, if you've met this person, the reason why they've ghosted you or not talking to you, um, causing you to be single is because they are taking care of something in their own life that's bringing in transformation, that's bringing up an emotional shakeup, but needed to happen in order to move this along in the way it needed to, in the manner it needed to. If you haven't met this person yet, they are just awakening, transforming, um, getting out of a situation that is not good for them, making a choice for the better of themselves to, um, to move forward knowing that there's something better out there or more to life than what they're doing. What's this judgment and ace of swords that's coming or what they need to know? Yeah, this connection is going to take a lot of work, but it is a twin flame soulmate connection coming in for you. Wow. Those, I will put those back because I didn't flip, but this is going to take work. Um, especially if you've been together in this lifetime. This is coming back together. There is so much earth energy here. Um, not, I'm not, I have not even seen a cup yet. It's been all earth. All earth. Except for the tower and the star. This relationship right now, uh, or not relationship, but the connection, um, is very 3D. It's very based on the earthly matters, earthly possessions. Um, and it needs, what you need to do to get ready for this is to get in a more spiritual uh, 5D um, mindset to release the earthly possessions, to release the earthly matters, the earthly concerns, and to dig deep and find your soul and your spiritual center so you can connect with source and more on a 5D level. That is what's going to bring in this strong relationship for you, this strong commitment, this solid foundation, this home that you can build a whole world on and it won't crumble. Because when, when you build it on a spiritual level first and release all other earthly matters, concerns, etc., it can't be torn down. Because when God's on your side, you can't lose. Yeah. 
So what you need to do to be ready is to go soul deep, to find that soul um, center or that spiritual center within your heart, your soul, and um, and concentrate more on that than this 3D, all this pentacles, holy cow. So the outcome of this is, like I said, wishes coming true, healing, getting out of this place of feeling stuck and trapped like nothing ever works out for me. Nothing's ever going to come in for me. Like a lot of worry and anxiety has gone into being single. That's all going to be released because you're going to find healing. And this is going to move forward. It's going to be slow. This is a slow go. But this week you're really going to find your spiritual center. You're waking up to a new level of, of consciousness. Uh, waking up to a new way of communicating with Source. A new way of connecting to Source. And judgment is here. So you and your person, whether you have been together in this lifetime or not, are going to be drawn to each other. It's like a magnetic pole. And you're going to have this opportunity for big love. Big love is coming in for you because the universe is putting each other back in the path where you can meet, where you can come together, where you can, you know, for you singles, you will not be single much longer because some, for some of you, a new person is coming in, offering this to you. For those of you who have split up with somebody from the past, they are coming towards you. And this goes back as far as 20 years ago, I'm seeing, um, Allowing your intuition to guide you will lead you out of this earthly concern and right into your spiritual um, connection with source, giving you that, that opportunity to take this leap of faith, to start fresh, to start new, and to move forward with somebody who is coming into your life, new or old, within the next two days to two weeks. Or four days to four weeks. I'm seeing two different timelines here. Either way, this is amazing. You won't be single much longer, water signs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it helped. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Please drop me a like if you so uh, ever so would. I would greatly appreciate it. I send you all my love and light. And I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. See you later.